Hey guys, it's Cookie Boogie, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about the new, the new doll line. Taken collectors by storm this past week. There's no surprise that I am talking about the highly popular Rainbow High doll line. This doll line is made by MGA, the maker of LOL Surprise and Bratz. <laughs> In this video, I'll be sharing my opinion on the dolls and some concerns a lot of people have had for the line. Okay, now I'm going to share my opinion, so be ready for it. <laughs> As these dolls go, I really do think they're cute. The style is definitely up to date of how they dress, of how people dress nowadays. I mean... They're right on point. The green one even looks like Billie Eilish. <laughs> nah, nah, it's fine. But all jokes aside, all jokes aside, I love the inset eyes. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a sucker for inset eyes and rooted eyelashes. I love when dolls have rooted eyelashes, so this is a plus for me. Looking at the dolls, they seem to be for the older collector, unlike LOL Surprise. They also have big heads, like the he like a head so big that if you threw this, someone, it's gonna hurt them. <laughs> anyway, don't use your dolls as a weapon. If you do, it was it didn't come from me. <laughs> so I love all the details, the real lace threaded through all. Through some of their skirts. The real sewn on to make that look like a bodice. That's it's it's beautiful. I love that they have faux belts, painted accessories, and everything. It's it's really cute. And also shoes are accessory and accessories are highly detailed also. Also, the shoes and accessories. Just look at that. So since it is rainbow high, every doll is the color of the rainbow. At least the ones we see in this lineup. Personally, I think if they keep the quality high on this doll line, they will revolutionize the doll community. And the doll shelves all together, because you guys know it's been a bit dusty up in there. And in my eyes, this is a great representation for the LGBTQ plus community. Being that their symbol is literally a rainbow flag and this represents the rainbow. Okay now, so let's get into some of the backlash that the rainbow high doll line is facing. As you see here, mostly this doll line mostly has lighter skin tones. Which is sort of a problem because including more skin tones is always important in doll lines. To make kids and adults feel special and like they belong. Inclusivity is always a nice thing. Also, why is MGA, the company known for their inclusivity, not putting more darker skin tones in this line? Also, why is MGA, there also is a picture floating around where they seem to have whitewashed the Skylar doll. It was a prototype picture, but if you make a character design and she's darker skin tone, don't try and make her lighter. It's wrong. What do you think of this endeavor? Are you... Will you still buy a Rainbow High doll? Will you still buy the line? If you, if you will buy the Rainbow High dolls, please tell me which one you would buy. I'm personally going for the Violet. If I can't find her, I'm going for the red one. Also, just a side note, what happened to this doll line? I thought it was cute, but why? I, but I didn't buy it because, I don't know, they were just too big for me. Kind of American girl, not my taste. I didn't buy it though. Is it coming back or what? They were overpriced though, look at that price tag. <laughs> okay, so I want to thank you all for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to become a part of the most unprofessional family on YouTube. And I love you all. Have a great day. Bye!